Hey, what's up, guys? This is Building Tokyo. Well, actually, not really. Um, I'm just the guy that makes the Building Tokyo series. Um, well, in this video, I want to show you guys. Um, well, actually, back that up. I, uh, what I, I was thinking of, like, you know, there are some people out there that don't have the patience to uh, terraform or dig up uh, their roads into the ground and make some overpasses, underpasses, and stuff like that until update seven that comes out. Thursday. So I came out. I tried to. I decided to uh, try out some designs and see what I could do uh, if people wanted to make uh, manual or basically highway junctions uh, without digging and stuff like that. And uh, I came up with these designs. One is for four-way junction, and one is the three-way junction or T-shaped junction. And um, let's start with the most complicated one first, which is four-way junction. Okay, okay, a four-way junction as what is supposed to be, um, what it's supposed to do, is, you know, as you can see, is you know, um, you come up from the entrance of the city here, and then you're given you want to go left, right, or straight forward and stuff like that. And this junction, um, if you just had a regular T shape like you know this, uh, we all know that. We all know that this will not work. It will have serious traffic problems in the long run uh, because you know that it's the same with real life. You know, you you could be waiting five minutes at a light, and you know four-way intersections just don't work. And people devised um, or came up with this uh, method of you know the T shape because you're giving less choices for the AI to do whatever and and uh, cuts down on the waiting time at stoplights. But if you want to do junctions, you know, be a little bit more realistic and stuff, this is the design that I came up with um, right here. Okay, okay, let me just walk you guys through this. Okay, we're coming into the entrance of the city here. And then the, the AI will stop here, and they could either go this part of the side, or this part of the town, or this part of the town, but either way is, um, you want to give the AI two choices, just, you know, um, very simple. And I call this uh, binary routing. I don't know, I just made it up. And because binary as in, you know, two, you're giving the AI only two choices, you know, left or right, left or right. And that way it doesn't complicate things for the AI to route, you know, deciding what path is, you know, simpler and stuff like that. And... Um, let's start on this little corner right here. Okay, if the Sims want to go right, there are two choices. All right, one is this high density road right here. As you can see, it's curved. But the difference between this um, high density and this low density are is that the low density is governed by stop signs. Well, actually, not even exactly because it's still street lights, but um, the high density is governed by stoplights, and it's a little bit further down than the low density, and it can also pack in more cars because it's two lanes uh, per section or whatever. Um, uh, basically, the, if you guys know in real life, making right turns is much more easier than left turns, and that's what the AI will do: is they'll make a longer right turn to get to the right side, and this is the curve. Or if they want to take a, a faster route, they will take this low density road, or I, as I call it, the expressway, um, and just cut on right through. So that way, now you have two ways of going right. You have the curved road, which uh, holds more cars and a longer distance because it's curved, or you can go through stop um, signs which is faster, but holds less cars um, through this low density right here that cuts through. Okay, let's move on to the left side. Left side, they could just go that way. You know, it's, it's just simple, and, and that's the wonders of the stoplights, is that when the light, the light is green, they are forced to go. Or if the light is red, yeah, they're, they're forced to stop. But in the center here, you use stop signs, and... Um, Using stop signs is a good idea for most cases, but when you're using 
uh, when you're in a high density environment, um, everybody's at the at the stop sign is like, all right, they're just staring down each other awkwardly, like, who's going first? Am I going first? Are you going first? Or whatever. And that's what happens um, when you use just stop signs or low density roads. And that's um, where street lights come in to, you know, govern people to tell one of them to go, whereas the stop signs, they go wherever they want and stuff. Okay. Again, they're going right. They take to these two paths. But if they want to go straight, they could either go right here to the the expressway and then turn left at this and go straight. Or they could go left and then go on to this one. Go straight. And that's basically as simple as this. Um, you know, you're just going left and right and then you go to another fork in the road left or right. And we'll move on to this next junction um, to show the, you know, uh, they want to go right, they can just simply go right. But if they want to go left, uh, there's two paths here. One is expressway, one is a longer route with stop signs, or I mean stop lights. And, but if they want to go through, they can go straight and then turn onto this high density road. It doesn't have any stop lights because it's connected to low density roads. And they can just go straight. And it, it just the same properties apply uh, on every little um, junction or, you know, stuff like that. You know, you're just giving them left, left, right, left, right, and stuff like that. And some roads are easier, some roads are harder, some roads can have a higher capacity, some roads have a lower capacity, but they can move through faster, and stuff like that. You're just giving a, uh, the sims much more options uh, uh, to effectively move on through and stuff. Uh, I mean, there's going to be congestion no matter what, because the major problem is what the traffic is AI. Um, AI, you know, if you watch it, they could be taking U-turns, um, for no stupid reason, you know, just just stupid reasons. Um, but update seven should fix this. Um, but yeah, this is just uh, it's a very steady rate of uh, of you know, regulating traffic. There, there won't be any really congestion. You know, cars will always be moving and stuff like that, just stopping a lot. All right, let's move on to the three-way or T-shaped junction. This is the same way. You're giving the AI two options, left or right, and these are governed by stoplights. You know, when the lights is green, they they go. The lights red, they they stop and stuff like that. And you know, they're going left or right. Now we're going to this side. There's left and right options, and remember, there you're giving the right side. Making right turns are always easier, so you're giving the right side. Um, a little longer distance, also governed by stoplights. Or if they want to go through hastily um, through the expressway, they can take the low density road, etc., like that. And the same applies for this side. Uh, if they want to go straight, they can just take the low density. And they don't really need to take this high density one right here. Uh, that's for mainly this side. But if they want to make a right and just go down to this direction, you know. The, Basically, you're trying to give the AI uh, more uh, easeability, you know, just giving them easier right turns. Um, I, I noticed by watching traffic and doing a bunch of road networks, I, I've been studying it, I've been watching it, and stuff like that. I noticed that the AI really loves making right turns. Um, but if they are given, if they have to do a left turn, uh, they are stuck there. Um, the AI, like, it's much more harder for them to make left turns, even though the light is green for some reason. So, uh, what this design is taking advantage of is making right turns all the time um, and stuff like that, so it could be easier. Upgrade this, and that's what you're trying to do here with the four-way and the three-way junction. And I also made one. Well, it's my home screen. And yeah, I made the same thing here. But remember, um, you always want to make the right side longer and an expressway that goes straight through 
that is low density. But yeah, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed it. Maybe you guys want to try the design somewhere in part of town or whatever, just to have it there. Or if you want to be a little realistic, or you know, you're tired of the the regular L shape or T shape, whatever stuff that uh, that is out there, you could use these kind of uh, junction designs to regulate your traffic and stuff. Okay. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to stay tuned for more Building Tokyo stuff. Uh, and you know, eps, I mean, update seven is going to come out this Thursday, and it's very exciting because people will then uh, do you know these cool overpasses and underpasses without uh, people like me that have done digging and stuff like that for hours for a city and stuff. Uh, so you guys get to have the lucky break. If you guys never did that, you can just go immediately into building underpasses, tunnels, and stuff like that without the hardships like I did. <laughs> well, yeah. Hope you guys have fun.